Hello, everyone, and welcome to another webinar presented by Opus IVS. My name is Henry Marino. I'll be instructor for today. Today, we'll be going over what Nastafair is, how to create a free account, how to use your account, and how to create a new programming session with your new account. NASTIF stands for National Automotive Task Force. AIR means Assisted Immobilizer Reprogramming. Why is NASTIF AIR used today? NASTIF AIR is used today for prevention of theft in 2015 in newer vehicles, prevention of vehicle owner identity, emergency authority access if a vehicle is stolen, and restricted access to obtaining new keys or programming without an LSID, which is a locksmith license ID. Quick disclaimer, AIR services is only for provided for only new security module programming. We are not here to program new keys or spare keys. How to register your free account. Go to sdrm.nastifsecurityregistry.org. Once you go there, this is going to be their landing page. You'll be clicking on free NASTIF account to register your free account. The next option is SDRM credentials. This is only and if you want to create your own LSID and create and get your own locksmith license ID. Once you click on free registration, you're going to put in your contact information, home address, and company address. Once you fill that out, you can choose how you want NASA to communicate with you, either text or via email. Once you've selected your option, click on register. NASA will take about two to three business days for approval. Sometimes it can even be sooner. Once you get approved, they will send you an email with your approval. If you get denied, well, you will get an email as well with your denial. How to get your own token. Every single time you access your account, you will need a token to be entered in so you can access your account. I will show, show you how to do this now. Go to your phone and download the app, the Authy application. This is what the application looks like. Download it to your cell phone. Once you download it to your cell phone, open up the app, and then it's going to ask you to enter in your cell phone number to identify you. Once you do that, choose how you want Authy ID to message you, either through text message, the WhatsApp app, or receive a phone call. Once you do that, disregard this option. Next, click on the upper right-hand corner, the three white dots in the corner. Click on the Settings option on the right corner. Click on App Protection option once you see the option. Enter in a PIN for the first time, so if you get locked out of your account, you enter the PIN so you can reaccess your account. Close the application, then reopen it, and then verify your phone number once again. It will ask you whether or not you want to send it through your text or get a phone call, or you want to use your device. Authy will now authenticate your account. This takes minutes. Authy will then ask you to approve your device. You will type in yes to pro when prompted. Authy will now see your device and will be granted your token. Every single time that you access your application, it will grant you a token. You must click the device that you are using. Your token will look something like this. How to create an Airy programming module request. Once you've created your account, you were approved, and once you create your Authy app, you will go to the landing page once again, and you will, you will click on NASTIF Login. Once you click on NASTIF Login, 
It will ask you to enter in your Authy code. Every single time you try to access your account, you will need your Authy code to access it. Once you're in your account, you will click on this the option that says Assisted Immobilizer Reprogramming. Once you click the option, you see the next page where you can see history of what you've been approved for, what you work for, and what is pending right now with your orders. If you need to create a new account, you click on the Begin New Immobilizer Reprogramming Request option at the bottom of the page. Here you will be able to enter in the VIN number that you're the vehicle that you are working on. Once you enter the VIN, you will decode the VIN and then click Next. Once you click Next, it will identify the vehicle and then it will ask you in to enter the color of the vehicle. Next, it will ask you, are you making this request to register a key? You will click on No. Then it will ask you, are you registered security technician in your shop? You will click yes. Then it will ask you, have you gathered the necessary authorization documentation to upload at this time? You will say yes. Then it will ask you to enter a license plate number. If you do not have one, you can click on the no plate registration option. Next, you will enter in the country that you're in, whether you're in the United States or in Canada. Please understand that this is only for the U.S. and Canada. This does not pertain to any international countries. Then you click on the state you're in or province you are in. Then you will select the mileage. If you do not have mileage, just click on the mileage not available option. Once you're done, click on next. Once you click on next, it will ask you to provide to select a provider that you are using. You will click on Opus IVS. Next, it will ask you to select the tool that you are using. Whether you're using a Drive Pro unit, you will select Drive Pro, or if you're using one of our wrap units, you will click wrap. Once you've selected that, it will ask you to enter in the, your equipment serial number. Next. It will ask you to upload your customer's driver's license. The driver's license must be visible and not expired. Next, it will ask you to enter in your a valid registration, valid proof of insurance, or a title. If it's a fleet vehicle, all you need to do is enter in a written letterhead signed by a, a fleet supervisor from the company stating that you are being authorized to program the vehicle. And you can only submit that. You do not need to submit a driver's license, a registration, a proof of insurance if it's a fleet vehicle. Approval for your session happens within one to two business days, maybe even sooner. If you get approved, you will get an email address from us stating that you've been approved. At this point, once you're approved, just call Opus IVS and create an appointment for the vehicle programming session. If you get denied, NASIF will send you the reason why you were denied. Most of the times you're denied, either the driver's license expired or blurry image. If it's a registration, it will get denied if it's expired or it's a blurry image. What tools are accepted for air programming? The wrap device is acceptable for air programming because it comes with a built-in tablet. And it also comes with a battery maintainer to maintain voltage during the programming event. Our Droid Pro unit also is available with air programming services. It comes with a Drive Pro Diagnostics option and also with a Drive Wrap programming options. So you have an option for a diagnostics and air programming as well. The devices do not include jumper cables, so you must get your own. Anytime you need to create an appointment, you must call in the wrap number at the bottom, 844-REFLASH or 844-733-5274. You can also do it on our Opus IVS application. You can call in, get the telephone number, and create an appointment. 
In the event that if programming does fail, you can always use our Drive Pro unit to do vehicle diagnostics. Our team has AESC certified technicians that are waiting on hand for your request to assist you on any diagnostics that you need if it, an event that programming fails. Anytime that you create appointment, just please wait for your support technician. You will be assigned a time and date of when the vehicle is going to be programmed once you're approved for your air session. What vehicles are supported on RAP devices? We support domestic brands such as Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, and Fiat at this time. What vehicles are supported on drive tools? At this time, we support domestic brands such as Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Fiat, and European brands such as Audi, Volkswagen, Land Rover, and Jaguar. Please keep in mind, not all year makes and models support it at this time, so please, Call in before you set your appointment to see whether or not we can service the vehicle. Thank you for attending another webinar presented by Opus IVS. Please go to our website. We do have a new BMW webinar being released in February. Please uh, visit the website to see further details. Thank you, and have a nice day.